Hello everyone, this is Lindy from Love Crate Celebrate and today I'm going to show you how you can personalize almost anything using your Cricut machine. The first step with any Cricut project is to open the Cricut Design Space, which I will link to below if you don't know where it is, and open a new project. The first thing I like to do is open or create a template for whatever I'm working on. There's a template icon on the left hand side that you can use to find a lot of things. For what I'm doing, I was gonna make a mat, so instead of using one of the icons, I use the shapes to create my own template. Because I know the size and shape of the mat that I'm using, I just unlock the shape in the bottom left hand corner and then resize the height and width. Then I'll zoom out on the screen so that I can see the entire mat. The next thing I'll do is change the color of my template so it doesn't interfere with my design at all. Since my design is going to be black, I'm going to change this rectangle to white. Now that I have the template drawn, it's going to give me a really good idea of what my lettering or design is actually going to look like on the mat. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some text. I just pressed the text button on the left hand side and then added the word, typed in what I wanted and now I can go through the Cricut fonts and choose a font that I like the best. There are tons of different Cricut fonts to choose from so if you're not sure what you want you can always try typing in different kinds of words to narrow down the search results. Once you find a text that you think will work you can resize the text by pulling on the corners and you can grab the box and move it to anywhere in your design that you want it. Since I'm going to personalize this mat, I am now going to add our last name to it, but you can add your initials or do any other kind of personalization that you like. I really want these letters to cut out in a pretty script, so what I'm going to do when I go to my fonts is just search for scripts and then see what pops up. In my case, the one font I want is actually not listed as a script, so I'm gonna get out of that and go down and find it manually. It's called Yours Truly. Once you've chosen a font that you're happy with, now you can adjust the fonts themselves. Um, so for example, you can bold or italicize the font by choosing the style drop-down menu. If you have more than one line of text, you can adjust the line spacing by hitting the up and down arrow under line space. Letter spacing on the other hand will adjust the space between each individual letter. So in my case, I want my script to look all connected so I am going to reduce my letter space by hitting that down arrow until my letters look like they flow naturally. Once I'm happy with the spacing, I'm just gonna resize the whole word again because obviously that will have changed the dynamic a bit and this is where I'm happy to have my template so I can see exactly what it's gonna look like on the map. Another feature that the Cricut Design Space offers is the ability to curve your text up or down, which looks gorgeous in so many designs. So I'm just going to play around with the size and shape of my lettering for a couple minutes until I get it exactly how I want it, and then I'm going to add some other images. One way to add images is to click the image icon on the left hand side. If you know what you're looking for, you can type it into the search bar. For example, I typed the word vine. 
and then you can just scroll down until you find one you like and insert it into your project. Then you can resize it, place it on your design, put it anywhere you like and see if it fits. You can upload your own images, but as you can see, there are tons and tons of options available in the Cricut Design space already. Another option for adding images that I tend to use a lot is just inserting a shape using the shapes icon in the left hand side menu. You can take your shape, resize it to whatever you like, and insert it into your post. I tend to like minimalistic geometric designs, so I use this method a lot. Now if you try to make your design from here, the Cricut will automatically tell you that your image is too large and that's because we need to first delete that canvas. We never wanted to cut that image out, we just wanted it there as a template to see what our design would look like. The other thing you want to do before you make the design is weld all of the images and text together so that it cuts in the exact design that you created. To do this, just hold down the control button, select each one of your images or text boxes, and hit weld in the bottom right panel. When you're ready, hit the make it button and get ready to cut your design Make sure you select the correct materials and mat size for your design and your project. I'm using my design to make a personalized doormat and if you're doing the same you can use the same materials. I'm using a 12 by 24 inch mat, I'm using Martha Stewart and Cricut vinyl, and I'm using the Martha Stewart Cricut Explore Air 2 to cut the vinyl. And I'll link to all of the products in the description below so you can find it. If you want to see how I made this custom doormat, it was super easy. Once I had my vinyl cut out, all I did was weed out the design, all of the letters and shapes that I had printed. And then once all of that was weeded out, I removed part of the backing just at the beginning of the design and then slowly and gently peeled away the back of the design so that it didn't rip any of the vinyl and allow the vinyl to loosely come off onto the mat. I actually had tape, different kinds of tape with me because I wasn't sure how well the vinyl would actually stick to the mat, but once I patted it into place, I was really happy with how well it was adhering. So I didn't use any tape at all. Next, I grabbed a Martha Stewart multi-surface satin paint, which I had in black belt, that was the color name, and I added one of her bottle toppers to it. These bottle toppers have a nice foam top. You can just squeeze the paint right into the bottle topper and then press it onto the design. It was perfect for this project. I just squeezed the paint on as I went until the entire design was done and I was happy with the thickness of the black paint. When I was done, I just peeled off the vinyl and I was really happy with how crisp the design looked on the mat. There were a couple of spots that I thought could use a little bit of touch up, so I just used that Martha Stewart black paint and a paintbrush to just go over the design once more. So here is the personalized matte design that I ended up with. I love the design and I hope you had fun learning how to personalize anything on the Cricut machine. As always, for more great DIYs and tutorials, visit lovecreatecelebrate.com.